What's going on guys? Mad Dad is back in this Mad Den. Here to talk about Mad Den. And yes, we have a wild card Wednesday with rising stars. So thank you all for watching me and I hope you're having a great day. If it's your first time watching, as always guys, please slowly creeping to that thousand subscribers on that road. You can help me on that road. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button Turn the notification bell on. And yes, you will feel that. All the madness from Mad Dad is to give it to his underdog Madden Nation here, the Madden Underdog Dogma and beyond. So thank you guys for watching me. And again, I hope you're having a great day. So guys, as I said, we have new uh, Wild Card Wednesdays. You know what that means? Another program is here, The Rising Stars. It was not here in Madden 20, but it was in Madden 19. It used to be, you used to build these guys up with littler pieces of themselves, but now it's just straight up cards. Um, but we do get some good ones today, some budget beasts, I think, for your squad. If you don't have that much coins, you're looking to upgrade some positions. So, I'm not mad at this at all. So first and foremost, it does cost, just like the rest of them, a wild card Wednesdays. It does take 3,800 training. You get an 89 overall, which do quick sell for 3,600. So you can re-roll it for cost of 200 training, which is about the price of uh, about 10,000, I think, a re-roll right now. So probably just sell the one you got and buy the one you want if you just have enough for one roll. But we can go take a look at the ones we have right now. Hopefully they have a tab for it so we don't have to scroll too much in here um and the rising stars are here so they are going for they've already bottomed out oh well, about 100k so we'll start off with james connor not the first one because it will get us here as you can see here 87 speed he does not have a power up uh at this present time 89 excel um you know, can, i guess we can just compare him that would be, probably be the better thing to do is compare him to somebody here let's do that real fast Let's give him to the Sean Alexander test, not Barry. Sean Alexander, he's going to be faster. Oh, yeah, let's go Adrian Peterson there. So he's fa obviously faster than 85 Adrian Peterson. Great, great carrying, catching. I think his catching should be a little bit better. Uh, got good change of direction, good agility, and decent break tackle. Good. I'm sure he looks good on a Steelers theme team. Decent budget bat. I think you get a better budget back out there. I think Ezekiel Elliott and Todd Gurley might be a little bit better. So, probably not a good choice even if you're trying to go the budget route. Next up, we got Cortland Sutland. Wide receiver, Craig, who's out for the year now. Um, compare him against, let's go Keenan McCardell. Did a great comparison, 6'3". Got good speed, you know, for an 89 uh, powered up, um, with um, which he does have, and with a uh, sprinter on him. You'll get him to a 90 speed. Uh, catching stats, uh, not the best deep route running, probably more of a short guy. Um, again, another budget uh, wide receiver. If there's plenty of them out there, we do have Andre Johnson. So maybe you might want to pass on this one unless you're a Broncos fan. Oh, so coming up next, we got this one right here, which I think is probably the best of the bunch just based upon um, you know some of his attributes here. I'm going to put him against Ramsey, who's a 90 overall, plus one. And you can see he's got him on the speed. Uh, Ramsey's got him on the play wreck and the coverage by a little bit. But you know he's definitely a budget beast for that speed. Doesn't have a power up, you know. You can still probably put sprinter on him, which you can, and you'll have him a 93 speed. Probably put some lockdown on him. You'll get these up a little bit. So, not a bad budget beast right there. Sean Murphy blunting, um, bunting. You know, he's not he's not swinging away. He's bunting, not blunting. He's bunting. So, next up, I think we have an offensive lineman around here. We do. There he is, Orlando Brown. Uh, I have um the. Uh, Phil Loholt, the Vikings team diamond. So I don't, I think they're the same. Like, yeah, they are 6'8", same size, not that different. So I'd probably be passing on him personally. He does have a power up. So does Phil Loholt. I haven't been powering up linemen right now until I'll probably power up the next level to get that plus, you know, three instead of the plus two on the chems. But it doesn't do a lot for me right now to power up linemen. So I, I personally would pass on him. If you do need a good right tackle, don't have one yet. He's definitely a good one. Um... And last but not least, the one that was leaked to us last night, and it shouldn't be that much more expensive than everybody, right? Unless he's hard to pull. Um, looks like he might be hard to pull. But um, Derwin James comes. He does have a power-up. We already have uh, Mays, Lynch, 
Adams, uh, Simmons. We'll put them against. Let's go against Lynch. Same height, faster, um, less tackling and pursuit, and better man coverage and less hit power than Lynch. Um, he's going to be great later in the year, hopefully, if he gets his powers up. So not a bad one right now for a budget beast either. Um, obviously, Isaiah Simmons, a lot of people have been using him. He's going to be a little bit faster, but he's a, this guy's got way better coverage. So there you have it, guys. The new... Rising Stars program is back in the game. Again, guys, I don't think that any of these cards are, again, these cards aren't meant to be, you know, the ones that are going to, uh, on Wild Card Wednesdays, you don't really expect these cards to be the ones that are going to really push your lineup to that next level, unless obviously you're, you're a budget team or a no-money-spent team or someone that has a lower overall. But these are great for your theme teams, obviously, or if you just need to plug some holes and uh, have a, a solid player there that's not going to cost you that much. So you got to take it for what it is. I know it's not, you know, we're getting a lot of cards right now, you know, with the 50 promo, with the Legends on Saturday, and um, obviously with the limited releases coming out tomorrow and Team of the Week coming out on Tuesday. So um, I, I expect a lot of these to change to 90s. I think these, um, the next go around, we, probably, we might have one more wild card Wednesday before it rotates back to uh, heavyweights and whatnot. But um, I expect them all to be 90s next time, so... I don't know if as, as though a lot of those are not going to be the best player on your team. Um, just remember that other ones are going to be coming soon as well. I'm just glad to have other programs in the game. Good card, card art. So not too mad about this. But other than that, guys, not a whole heck of a lot to talk about. They did address the solo battles issue if you had it on PS4, which I did. Got that do not finish on the first one. They're going to give us a free um, midfield and a red zone pack. They did say it should be coming out sometime today. Um... Limiteds tomorrow, new 50 on Friday. Uh, it's a, a sell day. Definitely sell some of your cards. The market is up a little bit. Um, if you're trying to get any of those 50 players, today's a good day also. <clears throat> People tend to rip these all pro packs today and tomorrow. So be looking to, to snipe those 50 players and start building those up as you get your rewards tomorrow too. Weekend league rewards, monthlies will be out tomorrow by about two. And... Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Really appreciate the support. My Madden Underdog Dogma, my Mudheads out there, I really appreciate y'all, all my underdogs. Thank you all for your support. Um, I do this for y'all. I do it for you guys. We're small. We're mean. No one expects anything from us. But we're just going to keep fighting for you. Have a great day, guys. Mad Dad is out. Peace.